Africa has come of age. The historic speech by Matala Mohammed at the 11th of January 1976 extraordinary meeting of the OAU heads of government. Matala Aramat Mohammed was born on the 8th of November 1938 in Kano. Nigeria. Matalo pursued an aggressive foreign policy with Africa as its centerpiece. On the 11th of January 1976, an extraordinary meeting of the OAU heads of government was convened in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, to tackle the Angolan question. Matalo made the historic and flamboyant appearance at the conference where he gave the powerful Africa has come of age speech. Hear the speech. Mr. Chairman, when I contemplate the evils of apartheid, my heart bleeds and I am sure the heart of every true-blooded African bleeds. Rather than join hands with the forces fighting for self-determination and against racism and apartheid, the United States policymakers clearly decided that it was in the best interests of their country to maintain white supremacy and minority regimes in Africa. Africa has come of age. It's no longer under the orbit of any extracontinental power. It should no longer take orders from any country. However powerful, the fortunes of Africa are in our hands to make or to mar. For too long have we been kicked around, for too long have we been treated like adolescents who cannot discern their interests and act accordingly. For too long it has been presumed that the African needs outside experts to tell him who are his friends and who are his enemies. The time has come that we should make it clear that we can decide for ourselves, that we know our own interests and how to protect those interests that we are capable of resolving African problems without presumptions lessons in ideological dangers which, more often than not, have no relevance for us or for the problem at hand. The speech known as Africa has come of age was received by a thunderous ovation from the hall, but for many was also the day Mohammed might have sealed his fate. He was assassinated 34 days after making this speech. Our founding fathers gave their all in pursuit of freedom, peace and unity and self-sufficient Africa. We derailed too long ago from their good paths, struggles and teachings. The question is where did we get it wrong and how can we get back on track? This is not a campaign against any person, group or country but a wake-up call to all Africans around the world. A better Africa is a better world. Let us join hands and build a very solid Africa.